Happy King's birthday weekend, everyone. A right royal bollocking. Peter Dutton is walking away from climate action. The Prime Minister taking aim at the coalition over its plans to dump some of Australia's climate policies. You can't shape the future if you're afraid of it. Nearly 200 countries signed the Paris Agreement, a commitment to keep global warming below two degrees. Australia promised by 2030 it would reduce emissions by 43 per cent, but the opposition says that's not possible under a Labor or Liberal government. You need to come clean with the Australian people on that. Australia's climate watchdog says the government is close but not on track to meet its 2030 target. The Prime Minister's pointed to new projects and policies he says will boost the use of renewables. I'm very confident not only that we can get there but importantly that we must get there. It's looking pretty tough to be honest. I think they're the, the right sorts of policies um, but the problem has been that they haven't been strong enough and tight enough to absolutely drive towards the 2030 target. Further down the track, the coalition insists net zero by 2050 is achievable, but there's no detail on what the party's short-term plan is. While, of course, I won't be announcing the coalition's climate and energy policy today, what I can tell you when it comes to targets, we won't be plucking a number out of thin air. If the coalition submits a less ambitious 2030 target, Australia would be the first country to do so under the Paris Agreement. Weakening our uh, 2030 target would be a, uh, a slap in the face of the spirit and intent of the Paris Agreement and to uh, our neighbours in the Pacific would also endanger us in terms of global trade and diplomatic uh, arrangements but not necessarily have any punishment within the Paris Agreement. Environmental benefits aside, the point of having targets is to set incentives and create certainty for investors with hundreds of billions of dollars to spend on whatever replaces coal. Another argument over targets sows doubt among investors who will be weighing up decisions well beyond the next election. Stephanie Boris, ABC News, Canberra.